Well, hello there. My name is Bakari Shivanu with MacAutomationTips.com. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. Really appreciate you stopping by. Hey, my particular channel is about how to use Mac applications and features for being more productive and reducing redundant tasks on your Mac. Now, in this particular video, I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of the top 10 applications and features that I use on my Mac to be more productive. Now, on my website, macautomationtips.com, I've written dozens of articles about these applications, but on this particular YouTube channel, I'm gonna demonstrate and show you how to use these applications in your daily workflow. So what you wanna do is hit that subscribe button below for upcoming updates and reminders of my videos. All right, and so now, without further ado, let's look at the top 10 applications and features that you should be using on your Mac. First off, if you do a lot of typing on your Mac, you should definitely be using the Text Expander application. Now, there's a text completion feature located in Mac System Preferences under the keyboard. Okay, now there you can add snippets of text that the Mac will display and type for you when you type a short abbreviation. See, for example, I can type BC and it will, it will paste my entire name. Or I can type BM and it will type my email address. Now notice also other features for correcting spelling, capitalizing words, and quickly adding the period using double space. Now another better text expansion solution is an application called Text Expander. It allows for organizing and pasting saved snippets of text and creating more advanced expansions for say template letters and forms. And what's great about Text Expander is it can be quickly accessed from your menu bar. Now, the second application that I recommend is PopClip. PopClip appears automatically when you select a piece of text and it gives you access to a number of actions such as copying and pasting text, formatting text, performing web searches, and lots, lots more. It even allows you to create text expanded snippets from a selected word. PopClip is essential for anyone who does a lot of writing and research. Now, the third feature I suggest is using smart mailboxes in Apple Mail. Smart mailboxes can be created by selecting new smart mailbox in the menu bar and creating the rule for filtering your email messages based upon your criteria. A similar feature is available for smart mailboxes in Finder, smart playlist in iTunes, and smart albums in Photos. All right, now if you're a Mac Power user, the fourth application I suggest using is one or two clipboard managers such as Clip Menu or iClip. Both of these applications allow you to save your current and past text clippings so you can select and retrieve them at any time. The fifth application I recommend is Hazel. Hazel is a folder management application that after it's installed appears in your system preferences. Hazel performs actions on folders based on the rules you set. For example, this rule will move files on my desktop after a designated period of time. Hazel is a great application for keeping your finder items automatically organized. My sixth recommendation is an underused built-in Mac OS feature for reading aloud selected text. To use this feature, you simply right-click on a piece of text and choose Start Speaking in the contextual drop-down. This is a great feature for when you're editing your own writing or you just want to have long pieces of text read to you. My seventh and favorite automation application is Better Touch Tool. This advanced program triggers actions using assigned finger gestures. For example, you can assign finger gestures to trigger menu items in any application, navigate Safari tabs, delete selected emails, and trigger screenshots. There are literally over a hundred built-in actions you can use, plus actions that you can create for your own workflows. Next, one of my favorite screenshot applications is ScreenFlow. What's different about this program is that when you take a screenshot, it automatically opens the shot on your desktop for viewing. You can select to save the screenshot as a file, open or share it in another application, or hide and close it for later viewing. My ninth recommendation is Drag and Dictate for voice-to-text dictation and most importantly, issuing voice commands. For example, instead of using keyboard shortcuts, I can issue voice commands for triggering screenshots, deleting files, opening designated web pages, and literally dozens of other custom commands I've created. Lastly, the granddaddy of all Mac automation programs is Keyboard Maestro. 
This program is similar to Apple's Automator, but it is packed with hundreds of more features. Keyboard Maestro allows for creating macros to trigger keyboard shortcuts, issue timed actions such as opening applications and folders, reusing saved clipboard items, executing JavaScripts, typing text, controlling Safari and iTunes features, and so much more. If you want to be a serious Mac Power user and automator, Keyboard Maestro is a must-have application. All right now, so that was just a brief overview of some of the programs and applications that I recommend for starting to get used to, you know, using automation on your Mac. Now what you want to do is hit that subscribe button for future updates and reminders of my upcoming videos. But it's also important that you leave me comments and questions so that I can address your particular workflow needs on your Mac. So the more I hear back from you, the better the videos can address your particular needs. Also, like the videos that you like, all right, and the ones you don't like, give me some criticism. I really appreciate that as well. So I really appreciate you stopping by, and I hope to see you again here on the Mac Automation Tips YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.